A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Woe to you, Chorazan, and woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But at the judgment it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you and Capernaum. You will be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hi there, I'm Deacon Steve, and today we're just going to share a couple of minutes on that gospel passage that you just heard from Sue. Um, one of the more difficult scriptures that we sometimes come across where Jesus appears extremely frustrated and angry and a bit concerned about everything that's going around him. When I was thinking about the scripture, I guess I was thinking about one of my greatest joys is seeing people depending on the promises of Jesus, seeing them outworked in their lives from this perspective. And it's easy to see uh, that while we can have tough times, Jesus gives all that we need to overcome those lives so that we can live lives of completeness. Now that doesn't mean to say that Jesus himself did not have days where he was frustrated angry, disappointed, you know, he had all those same emotional uh, experiences that um, we experience ourselves. And this gospel passage is, is, is one of those. Jesus laments the fact that the people in Bethsaida and the people in Capernaum were rejecting him despite his presence and despite the fact that most of his works and most of his miracles were in and around that area of Cana of, of um, Galilee uh, and he had hoped I guess that he would be getting a better response from the people that he appeared to be getting. The truth can be painful at times and quite challenging to hear and when we speak our truths and live our lives according to the teachings and the life of Jesus then we have very clearly chosen the better path according to the scripture and better yet that that path will not be taken away from us our baptism our salvation uh, the cross the resurrection power of the holy spirit and the family of the church are all there to make this a surety for us the only thing that we have to do and to act on for ourselves is the actual choice that we have to make to live a life with jesus If it's been a while since this has crossed your mind, perhaps it's a good thing for us to check again today where we are in our life of Christ or in our life with Christ. And the thing is, it's very easy in these COVID times for us to fall away a little bit, for us to get a little bit despondent, for us to get downright frustrated and to start thinking like, thinking for ourselves as opposed to the way that perhaps Jesus would require us to think and live just like the people in Bethsaida and the people in Capernaum. Let's today resolve to choose to become closer to Jesus, to live that better way. Despite any difficulties we may have, we must remember that Jesus is quick to forgive and is infinite in his compassion.